Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to User1 Productions, my name is David. And in today's quick Unity tutorial, we're going to be looking at a compass system. This is going to be very easy to set up, just a little bit of UI and a really short code to go with it. As always my friends, if you find something useful about this video, remember to drop me a like. If you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss an upload by me. And also you guys, scripts, models, sound effects, and anything you can find in this tutorial series is linked in the description for a free download on a Google Drive. Without further ado, let me show you the finished product and then I'll show you how I went about doing this. So here we are in our Unity test scene and you'll notice right off the bat there's a little compass at the top left of my screen. Now if I look around, it is fully functional and will follow us, north will always be wherever we first place the compass orientation and then as we move around the scene it'll always stay like that and then we can go west east south and north and then it keeps updating every frame this is super easy to accomplish so what i'm going to do first is go into my first person controller i have this little hud item that holds all my gooey textures i'm gonna go inside and i'm just going to disable that little compass that i made i'm going to disable that and then go right from the start with you guys so on hud i'm going to right click and add a empty game object I'm gonna call it compass and inside there I'm gonna right click again and go UI raw image you're gonna see a little box appear in your game view from the description you can download a little compass PNG file you're gonna notice right off the bat it is a little stretched out so what we're gonna do is press this button that sets native size and then it's going to be correct orientation for it I've made the texture white so you can go ahead and change the color to anything that you possibly want for the tutorial sake I'll make it a yellow Let's also rename that raw image to compass. I'm going to double click on the raw image of the compass and you're going to notice in the scene view we go all the way up in the skies where our canvas is. I'm going to bring this down like this and I'm going to go orthographic view front using these buttons at the top here. And now we can see the orientation of all textures and such that we have on our screen. First we're going to have to scale this down. If you are ever scaling a UI element never use this tool here. This will completely ruin it and it, it creates bugs and stuff like that. If you are scaling, use this tool right here on the side of it, the rectangle tool. And now if you grab any one of the corners and hold shift, you can proportionally scale it down to your recording size. I think that looks about good for me. And then we can use our transform tool and then bring it to where we want it to go. Right here on the side of the map is where I want mine to go. We could check game view and there it is. Now if we play the game to make sure that it is in the right place, which it is, you notice it's not moving right off the bat, which is why we have to go over the little script right here called compass image out of all the scripts i have ever written this is probably the easiest first we have a public transform for our player in a vector 3 called dir for direction obviously we don't need anything in the start function and in our void we just take the direction of z which equals our player's angle of y okay more or less we're declaring that the direction's angle is where we are looking on the y-axis of our player, which in our case is going to be left and right. Right underneath that we have transform.localEulerAngles equals dir. More or less we're saying whatever transform we put this script on, we're going to grab its local angles, which is, you know, 90, 180, whatever it is on our transform, and those angles are going to equal our direction. So pretty much wherever we look, that's going to be the new direction of the transform, okay? Now all we need to do is click and drag that onto the compass UI and then all it needs is a player transform which is the FPS controller. We plug him in and then we play the game and now we have a fully functional compass just like that. It doesn't move if we go up and down, it only moves if we look left and right. This is perfect. I'm sorry for the short tutorial you guys but this was a suggestion by a couple of you and I'm glad that I could come out and help you guys. And also, I'm sure enough there's hundreds, maybe thousands of more people that were wondering how to make a compass in Unity, so I hope I get to help them out as well. With all that being said guys, if you found this video useful or helpful in any sort of way, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell so you don't miss an upload by me. And that's about it for this video you guys, I will catch you all in the next video. This is User1 Productions, signing off for now, peace.